hey guys welcome back again to my channel if you're new please subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so in today's tutorial i'll be sharing with us how to cut and sew this dress for kids you can also make use of this pattern and sew it for an adult just make use of the adult's measurement and let's get started so i folded this fabric into four leaving about 0 0.5 inches at the center back for joining this uh, the zipper so what i'll be taking down is a half length measurement plus 0 0.5 inches allowance and i'll mark it out the half length measurement So from the center front, I will take down the shoulder measurement divided by 2 and the neck width measurement. Here, I will be coming down by 0 0.75 inches for the shoulder slope. And I will mark out the ample measurement divided by 2. This is going to be the chest line. I will take down the shoulder measurement divided by 2. And I'll connect the line. Place the chest measurement divided by 4 and add about 1.5 inches allowance. And here, take down the waist measurement divided by 4 and 1.5 inches sewing allowance and connect the line. Draw your armhole Take down the neck width for the front and for the back The front is 2.5 inches and the back is 1 inches Connect the neckline, it's a second neckline So create your neckline Add 0 0.5 or 0 0.25 inches to the shoulder for joining the shoulders together. Then now for the yoke, I mark out 6 inches and using my freehand method, I will draw out a sweetheart neckline. So I'll be adding 0 0.5 inches for this zipper and I'll cut it out. I'll trim out about 0 0.75 inches at the center back. I'll cut out the front neckline. And here I'll be adding about 0 0.25 inches allowance and I'll cut it out. I'll set it aside. Fold my fabric into two to cut out for the skirt part, the down part. This is going to serve as my starting line. I'll take down the hip depth measurement and I'll mark it out. Add the waist measurement divided by 4 plus 1.5 inches allowance and the hip measurement divided by 4 and 1.5 inches allowance connect them add about 0 0.5 inches to the waist area and cut out fold another fabric into two leaving about 0 0.5 inches for the zipper and trace it out get at my fabric I have the complete gown length from the hip depth measurement to the length of the gown and one inch hemming allowance with 0 0.5 inches allowance for adding it to the gown and the length is about two yards of fabric so 
I'll join the two sides together. Then fold this fabric into two and place this one on top. Remember, I take away 0.5 inches allowance, so I'll be adding it and I'll also add another 0.5 inches allowance, making it one inch. So I'll connect it and I'll cut it out. So after cutting it out, this is what I have. So when I'm when I sew it, I'll have something like this. I'll set it aside. So to cut out for the sleeve, I have about 4.5 inches in length, and the width is about one yard. The width is the length is about one yard, about 36 inches, and I will fold it into two, right side facing right side, and I will sew the two sleeves. So to cut out for the band for the sleeve, I have the round the bicep measurement plus few inches for ease and two inches in height, and I'll cut it out. So down to the sewing part, I will get my front bodice and I will sew it. I will open it up, get the back pattern, right side facing right side. I will join the shoulders together and I will sew them. I'll get the front to mark out for the dart. For the dart, I'll come up by five inches by four inches, and I'll be coming in by two point five inches. And for the dark that width, just take a very tiny part, about zero point two five inches, and I'll be doing the same thing on the other side. So I'll also mark out the dots on the skirt, the only the front pattern of the skirt. I'll mark out the dots just like the, the upper front. And I won't be dotting the back, put the back up and the back skirt. So after sewing it, this is what I have. I've already turned my neckline. So what I'll do next is that I'll mash up the skirt and the top together to complete the gown. Get this dart together and sew. Get the back patterns. Right side facing right side. And I will also stitch it down. I've already joined this one together, so what I'll go ahead, I'll fold the hem, or I'll hem it. I'll get the sleeves, right side facing right side, folded into two. I'll stitch it down, and I'll also do the same thing to the other sleeve. I'll get the bands for the sleeve, fold it into two, and I'll also stitch it down. So after sewing it down, this is what I have so far. So what I'll do is that I'll shape out 
the gown i'll fold it i'll place it like that right side facing right side and i will shape out the gown using one inch and i'll also shape out this side and i'll add zipper at the back so i've already folded this hem so i'll just set this one aside so this is the sleeve i'll get the center of the sleeve and the center of the sleeve band So get the center of the sleeve and the center of the band the right side of the band facing the wrong side of the sleeve and pin it together then get the sides the side seam the side seam of the band and the side seam of the sleeve Remember the right side of the band facing the wrong side of the sleeve and pin it together. So go, out, go ahead and sew it. Gather the excess fabric on the sleeve to the band and sew down. Sew it all the way around. Do the same thing for the other sleeve as well. So this is the gown so far after shipping it down I've already added my zipper so this is it see the sleeve here this is the sleeve so turn the sleeve to the right side and fold the band just watch carefully you will see what I'm doing fold the band like that and pin it down Fold all the way around and sew it. So after sewing it, this is what it will look like. This is what you look like after sewing it. So get the notched cent the notched part that is the center of the sleeve and pin it down to the shoulder seam on the dress, right side facing right side, pin it down. Then get the side seam of the sleeve and the side seam on the dress. That is the ample side. Pin it down. So what you do now is that you come up a few inches and pin it down. Then go up a few inches at the back as well and pin it down. Go about 1.5 to 2 inches and pin it down. So while sewing, gather the excess fabric to the armhole and sew it all the way around. Do the same thing for the other sleeve as well. So to complete the dress, get the remaining or the ruffled part of the dress. <coughs> right side facing right side, get the side seams together and pin it down pin down this other side as well So go ahead on your sewing machine and sew it down 
gather the excess fabric I, I gather and sew at the same time so gather and sew on to the dress right side facing right side I've already folded the hem so that's what I'll do so this is the final look of the dress don't forget to follow me subscribe to this channel like this video share this video comment on this video I really appreciate if you do that